Tensions continue to simmer between Russia and the West. This amid possibilities of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. In the latest, Western allies rejected Russia's attempt at thwarting Ukraine's ambition to join the NATO alliance. European Union leaders gathered in Brussels and insisted that there was an urgent need for Russia to de-escalate tensions caused by the military buildup along its border with Ukraine. Both the EU and NATO's North Atlantic Council reiterated their previous threat of imposing sanctions on Moscow. Our concern related to Russia's military buildup on the eastern Ukrainian borders are well known. Our position is very clear. We maintain our call on Russia to de-escalate tensions and refrain from any further aggression. We would like to be in a situation where relations with Russia's are, Russia are good, but this is very much depending on the choices made by Moscow. So let there be no doubt. If Russia were to move against Ukraine, the Union will be in a position to take sanctions that could extract a massive cost. We have done our work in that respect. Although no sanctions were debated at the summit, diplomats have said new measures could include targeting Russian oligarchs, banning EU transactions with private Russian banks and possibly cutting all Russian banks from SWIFT network that is the bedrock of international money transfers. For now, the EU leaders have agreed to renew for six months existing economic sanctions imposed on Russia in 2014. The ongoing sanctions are a response to Moscow's annexation of Crimea. At present, there are reports of Russian build-up on the border with Ukraine. There are nearly 175,000 Russian troops deployed near the border. Speaking on which, NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg said that there was no sign the Russian military buildup was slowing. Ukraine is a highly valued uh, partner of our alliance and I thank you for your personal uh, commitment to our uh, partnership. We discussed uh, Russia's substantial uh, military buildup in and around Ukraine with tens of thousands of uh, combat ready troops, tanks, artillery, armored units, drones, electronic warfare systems. Um, we see no sign that this buildup is stopping or slowing down. On the contrary, it continues. This buildup has no justification. It is provocative, it is destabilizing, and it undermines uh, security in Europe. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said he wants direct dialogue with U.S. counterpart Joe Biden to resolve the standoff. Putin seeks security guarantees in order to retreat troops. Russia even handed a list of security demands to U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Karen Donfried. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said that it is unlikely or it is likely that President Vladimir Putin may hold another round of talks with his American counterpart before the end of the year. However, there have been no firm agreements yet. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, who attended the Leaders' Summit in Brussels, made it clear that he wanted stricter sanctions against Russia, though he also considered for the first time that he was ready for talks with Moscow, be it in any format. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.